Hey everyone, Greg here on behalf of Disperse, where I'll be showcasing some of the features our product, Impulse, has and how they can help your day-to-day -day work. In this video, I'll be going through our subcontractor feature and how this simple yet powerful feature can make trade coordination meetings more efficient, as well as allow teams to gain insight into works from a very high level all the way down to the most granular component being tracked by Disperse. We start things off at the building overview page, which was covered in a separate video. To the right, we see we have a spotlights column, which will be covered extensively in a later video. But essentially, this is where you can find, review, and share flags that our system has detected. On the left-hand side, we have what is called the subcontractor column. You can see that in the first field here, the subcontractor is automatically selected to all. This means that the data in Impulse that is currently being displayed is representative of all of the subcontractors on site that are in our system. For example, all of these progress states and spotlight indicators across the various different spaces and floors are currently a culmination of all of the subs in our system. This is also the case for the spotlights column to the right, where essentially all of the spotlights on site are currently being shown. Clicking on the drop down menu for subcontractors, you can see that you're met with the names of a bunch of different trade companies. Since we are looking at a demo project, do not be alarmed if the names of your subcontractors do not match the ones you see here, as they will be representative of the actual trades you have on your site. This subcontractor list includes the names of trades that are associated with work that our system is tracking, whether it is MEP, drywall, or painting. Click on any of these subs. In this case, we will choose the drywall subcontractor, finish drywall, and you will notice that the building overview as well as the spotlights column on the right has updated. What you're seeing here is a high level summary of a specific trades progress throughout the site as well as any spotlights regarding works that that trade is responsible for. This is very useful when going into meetings with your trades as you can easily see how things are progressing on site and you can easily utilize the weak selector at the bottom here to see what has changed over time, be it a month, two weeks, or whatever interval you're interested in. In addition, you can share all of the spotlights that your particular trade has, either reviewing them live on a screen in a conference room or using our export functionalities, which will be covered in a separate video. This allows you to have a meaningful and productive meeting with little to no prep time from your end and also helps alleviate many possible disagreements as you have a whole repository of images, spotlight, and progress data to support any claims any party may have. Going a step deeper, perhaps you'd like to see how a particular critical path item is progressing. Using the task dropdown underneath the subcontractor list, will allow you to look through and choose a specific task or type of work that a trade is working on. For example, maybe one of your milestones on a residential project is to have the ceiling closed up so that kitchen cabinets can start being installed. You can go through the list of tasks associated to your drywall subcontractor and select drywall ceiling. The system has now been updated to show the status of drywall being installed on the ceilings across the whole site. Similarly, the spotlights now being displayed are not only those associated with your drywall sub, but also those pertaining to the drywall installations in the ceilings. You can even go one step further and filter to components which can give you details as to the status and spotlights for a particular subtask for a certain work. For example, 
you may be interested in seeing how the drywall installation is proceeding overall, or maybe you are interested in seeing which spaces have their ceiling services cutouts finished so that you can start mobilizing the next trade into a space to start their work. If you notice, the particular example that I just went through revolved around one subcontractor doing a specific set of works. This process can be repeated for any of the subcontractors on your site, as well as any tasks or components that disperses tracking on your site. By being able to track hundreds of different types of work, as well as our customized approach to system setup, you can be rest assured that what you're looking for is just a few mouse clicks away on impulse. With all of this in mind, I wanted to highlight that progress and spotlight indicators, as well as subcontractor filters, all apply as you navigate through impulse, whether you are in the building overview or the floor plan view as shown in one of our other videos. In case you are ever curious as to what you are looking at in Impulse, be sure to check the legend, subcontractor filters, and the week selector to ensure you're looking at the information that you want to be looking at. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.